And we're back for another exciting religious studies lesson. This week, we will be looking at friendship. Think about your first friend. Think about your neighborhood friend or even your school friend. I am sure that you miss your friends, especially during this time. Stay tuned as we dive into friendship and learn just how valuable friendship really is. What is friendship? If you had to find a definition for the word, what would you say? Does it look like these three boys, arms wrapped around each other's necks with smiling faces? Is that what friendship looks like to you? Our objectives for this lesson include, one, define the term friendship, two, Examine negative and positive effects of friendship. Three, outline ways to build positive friendships and ways to avoid negative friendships. Four, analyze two Bible stories to identify the positive and negative aspects of friendship. Think back on your definition of friendship. What did you say it was? Well, according to the dictionary, friendship is the state of being friends. Let's explore friendship by looking at qualities of a friend. A friend is someone you care about. You are concerned about what makes them happy and they are concerned about what makes you happy. When you are sad, they try to cheer you up. A friend is someone you like to do things with, whether it's playing a game of basketball or sitting quietly in a classroom reading a book. A friend is someone you can trust. If you have a problem, then you tell them. A friend is someone you can rely on. You can count on that person to always be there. Children who have friends are likely to be more self-confident than those without friends. Children who have difficulty making friends could feel great distress. This may affect them emotionally or academically. A friend can either influence you positively or negatively. What do positive effects of friendship look like? Well, I'll tell you. A friend accepts you for who you are. A friend doesn't ask you to be like anyone else or make you feel bad because you're not like them. A friend listens and encourages you. When you have a problem or a challenge that you need to work through, they listen to you and encourage you to make the best decision for your life. A friend is helpful. They give assistance whenever you're in need. A friend keeps your secret. Sometimes there are things that you do not want to tell your parents. That friend is someone you can share that personal information with and you know they won't share it with anyone else. A friend is always there. This is someone who is there when you need them and even when you don't need them. Now that we've looked at positive effects of friendship, let's look at the negative effects of friendship. 
someone that a friend can pressure you to join a gang. Be a part of a group doing bad things to others. Someone that's a friend can pressure you to steal, to move things without permission. Someone that's a friend can pressure you to hurt, fight, or kill others. That person causes you to act in a violent manner. Someone that's a friend can pressure you to smoke, do drugs, or drink alcohol. That person causes you to do harmful things to your body. Mahalia Jackson states, everybody needs somebody. Therefore, we should look for ways to build positive friendships. Here are four. One, Spend time with your friend. Do things both of you enjoy doing. Two, be honest, caring, cooperative, and respectful. If your friend is doing the wrong thing, tell them. However, remember they have feelings just like you. Three, listen and share feelings with each other. Sometimes you may do something that makes your friend sad. Listen when they tell you. Sometimes they do things that make you feel sad. Tell them. Work towards not hurting each other's feelings. Four, solve problems respectfully. We have to admit friends will disagree. Find a way to work it out without anyone feeling hurt. Maybe you can think of some other ways to build positive friendships. What do you and your friends do? Just say no. Here are some ways to avoid negative friendships. One. Stay away from friends that get into trouble often. It is often said that your name is all you have. Be known for doing good things rather than bad things. Two, stay away from friends that stay out late. Be respectful of your time. Time lost cannot be regained. Three, Stay away from friends that lie to their parents. Be truthful in your speech, no matter the consequence. Four, stay away from friends who take drugs or drink alcohol. Your body is the temple of the Lord. You should not want to do things that harm it. Let's take a look at two Bible stories. The first Bible story is entitled, Cheering Job Up. As you listen, consider these two focus questions. How do Job's friends influence him? Is the influence positive or negative? Soon, everyone was talking about Job's misfortune. Three of his best friends came to visit him to try to cheer him up. But when they saw him sitting by the rubbish dump in rags, covered with sores, they were horrified. They sat in shocked silence for a long while. Then, one by one, they began to give him advice. You must have done something very wrong that we know nothing about, one said. God certainly would not send such pain and suffering to a man who is good and just. God is punishing you for your sin. But Job's conscience was clear. He knew that he loved God with all his heart and had been honest and kind. He insisted that he was innocent. 
But his friends only said, Stop pretending. Own up and tell God you are sorry for what you have done. Then he will forgive you and everything will go well for you again. Won't you believe me and have pity on me? Joe begged. I need loyal friends in my trouble. You are no comfort to me. Job knew that his friends were wrong, but he began to feel that God was being very unfair, and he told God so. Why won't you give me a hearing and then answer my questions, God? he exclaimed. Then a fourth person interrupted. I've kept quiet until now because I am so much younger. I thought you would all be wiser than I am. But you have got it wrong. Just look at the stars in the sky, Job. Think how great God is. Can you expect him to be interested in whether you are good or bad? But the thought of a great far away God brought no comfort to Job either. If only God would listen to him and answer his questions. Do you remember the focus questions? I'll remind you. How do Job's friends influence him? Is the influence positive or negative? Job's friends tried to influence him to tell God he was sorry. They thought that Job had to have done something wrong. Job's friends did not support him when he was in trouble. They refused to believe he was telling the truth and offered him no comfort. Job realized his friends were not loyal to him when he needed them to be. This kind of influence is negative influence. These friends are friends we should avoid. Here is our second Bible story. Four men in the fire. As you listen, think on these two focus questions. How do the friends influence each other? Is the influence positive or negative? Many of Nebuchadnezzar's officials at court were jealous of Daniel and his friends. They were delighted to find a way to get rid of them. They hurried to the king and told him about the three men who had dared to disobey his order. The king was furious. He sent at once for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Is it true, he asked, that you refuse to bow down to my statue? I am prepared to give you one more chance to show your loyalty to me. Bow down and you will not be thrown into the furnace. We do not want another chance, your majesty, the three replied. We will never bow down to anyone but our God. He is even able to rescue us from the fire. But whether he chooses to save us or not, we will be loyal to him. The king's face turned scarlet. Make the furnace as hot as you can, he ordered. Servants soaked the brick kiln with charcoal until it glowed white hot. Tie them up and throw them in the king said. By now, the furnace was so hot that the guards who threw the three men into the fire were themselves scorched to death. The king watched moodily. It was a just punishment for those who would not admit his greatness. Suddenly, his face changed. With a look of horror, he pointed to the door of the furnace as if unable to believe his own eyes. How many men did you throw into the fire? He asked. Three, your majesty, the servants replied. But there are four men there. They are not tied up, but walking free in the fire. 
The fourth man is different. He looks like an angel of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar went closer and called out, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you who serve the great God, come out. The three men stepped out of the furnace. Their skin was not burned and their clothes were not singed. They did not even smell of smoke. Only the ropes that tied them had gone up in flames. Nebuchadnezzar looked again into the furnace, but the fourth person had gone. Your God is great and deserves praise, he said in wonder. Then he turned to his officials. Their God sent his angel to look after the three men who risked their lives to be loyal to him. No one is ever to say a word against him, for no other God could rescue his followers like this. Let's recall our focus questions for this Bible story. How do the friends influence each other? Is the influence positive or negative? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego influenced each other by remaining loyal to God and to each other. They stood together for what they believed was right by not bowing down to the king's statue. They supported each other in a difficult time. These friends demonstrated positive influence. These are the kinds of friendship we should build. What are our takeaways from this lesson? Friendship is defined as the state of being friend. A friend is someone that you care about. A friend is someone that you do things with. A friend is someone that you can trust. And a friend is someone that you can rely on. A friend can influence you positively or negatively. A friend that influences you positively accepts you for who you are, listens and encourages you, is helpful, keeps your secrets, and is always there. We should try to build positive friendships by spending time with our friends, be honest, caring, and respectful with them, listen to them and share our feelings with them and solve problems respectfully with them. A friend that influences you negatively can pressure you to join a gang, steal, hurt, fight or kill others and can pressure you to smoke, do drugs, or drink alcohol. We should try to avoid friends like these by staying away from them. In the Bible story, Cheering Job Up, Job's friends negatively influence him. They do not support him and were not loyal to him. In the Bible story, Four Men in the Fire, the three friends positively influenced each other. They remained loyal to each other and supported each other. Who is your friend? Does that person influence you positively or negatively? Think on these things.
friend we have in Jesus.